Arr, my mateys. Welcome to Mrs. E's Chickadees. Arr. Hey, friendies. Welcome to Mrs. E's Chickadees. I'm happy to see you today. Today is Thursday, April 2nd. We're talking about pirates today. Arr. I'm going to take my patch off because <laughs> it's a little hard to see. But if you have your patch and if you have your cup hook hand that we made yesterday, you can absolutely grab that now and get ready. Just a minute. My, uh, Patch is a little knotted here. Here we go. There we go. There we go, pirates. Okay, let's start off with our pledge. Big thank you to whoever dropped this at my door at my house. <laughs> if it was you, would you please tell me so I can say thank you? Okay, friendies, stand up. Right hand on your heart. Your grown up will help you to know which is your right hand. And let's say our pledge. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job, friendies. Have a seat while I put our flag away. I'm happy to see you today. We're talking about the letter K today. So let's put up our sign for K. Peter Pointer up, tall man up, Tommy Thumb right in the middle. Five k sounds, ready? Great job. So we're gonna jump right in today. We're talking about uh, pirates. But before we read our book, we're going to learn how to talk like a pirate because some of these words are going to be in our book. So get out your hook hand. Let's see if we can talk like a pirate. Remember, the green dot tells my eyes to go and the red dot tells my eyes to stop. Here we go. Ahoy, matey. You say it just like that. Ahoy, matey. Know what that means? Hello, my friend. Matey means friend, and ahoy means hello. So next time you see your friends, you can say, ahoy, matey. Next, let's see how we can talk next like a pirate. Blow me down. You say, blow me down. Do you know what that means? Oh, no. Next time something goes wrong, you can say, blow me down. There she blows. You say, there she blows. Do you know what that means? There's a whale sighting out in the ocean. Ooh, okay, let's see what's next. This one's tricky, but I know you can do it. Avast ye, you say, avast ye. That means, stop, check this out. Next time you want mom and dad or another grandparent or special friend that you're with to stop and look at something, you say, avast ye. They're gonna love it. How about this one? This is my favorite one, I think it's Funny. Land lubber. You say, land lubber. You know what that is? Someone who doesn't go out to sea. That's me. I'm a land lubber. Okay. This is really silly and crazy here. Okay. Hit the poop deck. You say it. Hit the poop deck. Do you know what that means? Go to the back of the ship. That's for real. The back of the ship is called the poop deck. Kind of funny and silly. Here's our last one. Arr! Do you know what that means? Yes, I agree. We're definitely gonna see that in our book. All right, friendies, you can keep your hook on. I'm gonna put mine down because I gotta hold my book. Here we go. Shiver me letters. A pirate, ABC. This was written by June Sobel, our author, and it was illustrated by Henry Cole. Let's say thank you to June and Henry for such a great book. Thank you, June. Thank you, Henry. Ooh, look at that pair. Shiver me letters, a pirate ABC. Arr! Roared the captain. Ooh, we know what that means. Yes, I agree. But look, they use the letter R. We know about the letter R. Five R sounds. Er, 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 er. Nice job. R's not enough. We need other letters to help make us tough. In this one too. Let's sail far away to find ABCs. Bring me back DEFs and some G's. Arr! cried the crew. Arr! We agree. Let's look for an A, a B, and a C. They set up their sails and followed the wind. Spying an island, they toothlessly grinned. Ooh, I feel a sneeze coming on, friendies. 
nothing get past. <laughs> land ho! That means there's the land, yelled the pirates as they rowed to the west. Let's row our ship. One more. Okay, let's see what's on the land. Capture those letters. Let's make it our quest. Splash! The anchor went into an A. Let's drop our anchor. That's a very, very heavy thing that you drop out of a boat to hold you still. Boom! Drop it. The anchor went into an A. Do you see the letter A on the anchor? A B floated by on the crystal clear bay. Do you see the B? Okay, now it's your turn. You're gonna look for the letters and then I'll tell you where they are after. Here we go, we're looking for a C and a D, friendies. Take a look. Point to them when you see them. Did you find them? In the sand sat a cannonball carved with a C. They dug for doubloons and scooped up a D. You got it. Ready? E and an F on this page. Now this one I thought was tricky. So really look close. Do you see that? I thought the E was tricky. E escapes down from one pirate's pierced ear. Did you already find it? That one took me a minute. I thought that was tricky. His mate, that means friend. His mate raised a flag and F and found F. Give a cheer. Do you see the F? It's made out of a flag. That was cool. Okay, G and H. Here we go. You look. Do you see them? Okay, here we go. In a chest glistened G, all shiny and gold. H hung from the hook on a pirate of old. Here's I and J. Can you find I and J? Ten paces north stood a huge ivory. You got it, I. From out of the jungle, J jumped sky. What do you think? Hi, you're right. Okay, K and an L. Here's our letter. Put it up. 5K sounds. K, 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 K. Let's find the K and the L. Do you see it? A K on a key slid under a shell. Far from the water hid landlubber. L. Do you see the L way up here? Landlubber. We know what that is. Someone that doesn't go out to sea. M and N, friendies. This one's a little easier. A mysterious map with an M soon appeared, while one nimble N popped right out of a beard. Look at that. Silly. Okay, here's the O. They soon spotted O rolling into the ocean. See the life preserver? A parrot squawked, P! What a commotion! Here we go. Let's look for Q and R. Do you see them? The gang questioned Q as it quacked in its nest. Arr, cried the crew. When do we rest? They're tired. Ooh, look at his face. The captain is not happy. I moaned the captain. Ooh, you slothful bunch. Ooh, he thinks they're being a little lazy and they're not trying so hard. Find the next letter or go without lunch. They better get going or he's not going to give them lunch. They saw S in the shape of a swashbuckling, swashbuckling sword, then found T on a turtle as they hauled him aboard. Do you see S and T over here? Okay. The crew dove underwater. Where's that U and V? Yeah, you got it. Caught U and Annette. They viewed V veiled in velvet, all soaking wet. Where is that W and where is the X? Do you see it? A wave washed up W, sunburned and hot. Pirates explored to find X marked the spot. I spy a Y, yelled the shipmate. Let's go. We've captured our letters. Yo ho, ho, ho. They went to the captain expecting a thanks. They showed him the letters. He showed them the planks. <gasps> the pirates were naughty on the ship. They had to walk on here and jump into the cold water. Oh, I don't think the captain's happy. Arr, roared the captain. You'll walk these for me. Be off with ye, mates. Go rob me. Uh. What's our last letter we have to find? Z. 
Arr! cried the crew. Our work is not done. We'll search and we'll plunder. That means take it to find the last one. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Do you think they're going to find the Z? I think so. Let's see if they found it. Oh, Friendies, look. What are all of the shipmates doing? And that very night, as they snored in their beds, zillions of Zs zoomed all over their heads. Friendies, in books when someone's sleeping, they say they're cutting Zs. Did they find the Zs? They did. They did. Let's give that a air clap and an air shout. Ready? Oh, I love that book so much. Okay, Friendies, count me down. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Get started on our circle time today. Today is April, our new month with an A. Can we count it too? Easy. Get your hands ready for slap clap counting. Let me see. I'm gonna give you a bippity boppity. I'm gonna give you a kibbity cobbity coo. I made it bippity boppity boo into a K word. Ready? Kibbity cobbity coo. You look good. One, two, Fridays. We can count it too. Let's see what the weather's like where you are today. Ready? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna? Oh, oh, it's right in the middle. Is it sunny where you are today? It's sunny where I am. How about foggy? Is it foggy where you are? Not here. Or er, er, rainy? It's not rainy where I am. What, what, windy? Oh no, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Is it snowy? Oh, I hope not. C -c cloudy? It's not cloudy where I am. It's sunny and a little chilly where I am at my house. Okay, friendies, let's get our sound up for K. 5K sounds again. K -k 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 for K -k -k kangaroo and K -k -k kite. Now, let's see if I can serve you on what day it is today. Is it Sunday? You're right. It's not Sunday. Mm -mm. Monday? Nope. T -t Tuesday? Not this day. What? What? Wednesday? No, but that was yesterday. Th Thursday? A T and an H together? Is it Thursday? It is Thursday. Give yourself a pat on the back for knowing that today is Thursday. Fabulous job, friendies. So, since we're talking about pirates today, arr, my mateys, I have a little song to share with you this time. Count me down from 10. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, friendies, are you ready? Green tells my eyes to go and red tells my eyes to stop. If you're a pirate and you know it, Swab the deck means clean it. Are you ready? If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck. If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck. If you're a pirate and you know it and you really... Oh, and then you'll hear the sea winds blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, swab the deck. Okay, walk the plank. Ooh, we must have gotten in trouble. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank. Ooh! If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank. If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the sea winds blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank. Ooh, 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 that was scary. I like this one better. If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy. Ready? If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy. Ahoy! If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy. Ahoy! If you're a pirate and you know it, then you'll hear the sea winds blowing. If you're a pirate and you know it, say ahoy. Ahoy! Great job. Give yourself a pat on the back, Freddy's. Super job. So, grown-ups, I have a couple of things to share with you today. You can play a little game of walk the plank. You just put tape down on the floor. You can do um, straight line. You can do it in zigzags. This is great for the kids' um, gross motor. And if you want to focus on balance and putting one foot in front of the other, like this. Okay, our next game isn't really a pirate game, but maybe the pirates played this on the ship when they were bored. Who knows? This is a fun game, friendies. So, grown-ups, I'm going to pull this over so you can see. Yes, there we go. So, remember at the beginning of the week, I asked you to save those toilet paper rolls? 
Well, hopefully you have some. And if you don't have them today, maybe play this tomorrow. All I did was I took toilet paper rolls and I wrote a number on the front. And I cut this here too, but the more I try this game, you probably don't even have to do that. Okay, you're gonna stand them up. Oop, that one's tipping down. I think must not have cut it correctly. Guys, what is this doing to me here? There we go. So I did all different numbers. Okay, six. What numbers are friendies? It is a three, you're right. And how about this one? It's an eight and it's a five. Great job. So I'm gonna show you guys on number 10, but you can line them all up, okay? First have the kids work on um, number recognition. If your student has already, or your student, if your child has already mastered number recognition, you can do it real tricky. And don't show them this side. Do an addition problem or a subtraction problem. Five plus five, have that facing out. Or maybe 15 minus five if you wanna do subtraction. Have that facing out, have them solve it that way. So after they, uh, they recognize the number, then this is the fun part, and I'm using Lucky Charm cereal, <laughs> but you can use whatever you have at home. You're gonna have them count out that many pieces. Remember the trick we're working on? Make our mouth match our fingers, right? So we're gonna count it out like this. One, two, three, just like that. Four, five. You're gonna go on to 10. I'm just gonna count to five. And now here's the fun part. After they've counted out each piece, then they have another job. They have to blow each cereal piece right towards that toilet paper roll. And they're gonna use their numbers again. Watch me, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Just like that, okay? A nice little fun thing to do. So, Freddies, you did a fabulous job today. I hope you had fun being a Arr, pirate. Before we go, we have to do our affirmations, but let's do it in pirate talk today. You ready? Get ready. I am brave, you say. I am kind, you say. I am smart. I am strong. Ahoy, mateys. Thanks for joining us at Mrs. E's Chickadees. Have a great day. Mrs. E's Chickadees, where every little chickadee arr, or pirate is part of my flock. Have a super day.